Hello, everyone. So I've got good news for Tesla shareholders today. Uh, Moody's has upgraded Tesla stock from junk rating to an investment grade rating. So Moody's has assigned a BAA3 issuer rating to Tesla with an outlook of stable. So from Moody's website, here's their rationale for the rating. The BAA3 long-term issuer rating reflects Moody's view that Tesla will maintain its position as one of the leading manufacturers of battery electric vehicles. As the company further solidifies its global footprint, Moody's anticipates that Tesla will deliver nearly 1.8 million vehicles in 2023, a 34% increase compared to 1.3 million vehicles that it delivered in 2022, and nearly double the deliveries in 2021. Considerable investments in new vehicle and battery cell production facilities enable a steep increase in vehicle deliveries. Tesla's product offering is expanding with early production of the Cybertruck slated for e later this year. The development of a next generation vehicle at a targeted 50% reduction in costs holds the prospect for a meaningful decrease in the reliance on the earnings contribution of the Model 3 and Y. Tesla's growing scale, regional production facilities, and heightened focus on the efficiency of its manufacturing processes supported by an EBITDA margin that Moody's expects to be 15.8% in 2023. The margin compression relative to an industry-leading 18.9% EBITDA margin last year reflects a drop in Tesla's vehicle prices amid a more competitive offering of battery electric vehicles by other automakers, changes in tax credits across geographies, and concerns about vehicle affordability. Moody's expects Tesla's financial policy to remain prudent Financial leverage is well below one time after Tesla repaid about $10 billion of debt in the last three years. Other governance considerations are management's track record, balancing business accomplishments against notable key, balancing business accomplishments against notable key man risk, and close ties between members of the board and the CEO. The stable outlook reflects Moody's expectation that Tesla will continue to capitalize on robust growth and demand for battery electric vehicles, but an increasingly competitive environment. Further, Moody's anticipates Tesla will maintain an industry-leading EBITDA margin in the next 12 months, albeit still largely reliant on only two models. Moody's anticipates that liquidity will remain very good, underpinned by a sizable and growing balance of cash and investments, prospects for free cash flow of more than $7 billion and limited debt maturities in the next two years. So basically, they're just talking about their automotive sales and... They expect them to do well, maintain good margins, but they mention nothing about the energy side of the business. Factors that could lead to an upgrade or downgrade of the ratings. The rating could be upgraded if Tesla maintains a strong competitive global presence as other automakers offer an increasing number of battery electric models and successfully broadens its product offering such that it reduces its reliance on the earnings contribution of the Model 3 and the Model Y. Tesla's ability to sustain an EBITDA margin in the high single digits, also well above that right now, and a longer track record of a consistent, prudent financial policy are, are also important considerations for a higher rating. The rating could be downgraded if demand for Tesla models materially softens amid an expanding offering of battery electric vehicles by other automakers, or if Tesla is unable to sustain its EBITDA margin in the mid single digits. Well, they're well above that. Material shift in Tesla's financial policy that signals a greater tolerance for financial risk could also cause ratings downgrade, including a, if debt EBITDA is greater than three times, or if the amount of cash investments and committed revolver avail availability decreases considerably from current levels. And if we have a look, so their rating before today was BA1, which is non-investment grade, and they've gone up just one level to be double A3, which is investment grade, which I believe means that some larger financial institutions will now actually be able to invest in Tesla because it has an investment grade rating. So it could be quite positive for Tesla shares. And if you actually look at Tesla's financials, they're in a, in a very positive position. So the fact they were non-investment grade until this point uh, is a little hard to believe. There seems to be a bias against Tesla, but anyway, if they upgraded it today, so that's that's good to see. So I'll have to keep an eye on Tesla shares tomorrow and see what happens. Might have to get up early and 
make a purchase. So that's my update for this evening on Tesla shares and the Moody's upgrade. My name is Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen channel. Subscribe if you like. You can click on the wheel on the bottom right. And thanks for watching.